Bam is in camp, and we are just uh, three plus weeks away from uh, the opener in Atlanta against the Miami Hurricanes. Welcome to the Voice of College Football. And of course, we welcome in Stephen M. Smith of TouchdownAlabama.com, who uh, delivers on the Crimson Tide for us on a regular basis. Stephen, how are you doing today? Doing well, Mark. Uh, Crimson Tide, it's first uh, full week of fall practice now. Uh, started off fall camp on last Friday, but but in the gang, happy to get back to work. Get, get back to work again. You can catch Stephen on his uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday shows. Uh, in my own words, uh, six central, right here on YouTube. Stephen, um, you got a chance uh, over the weekend, you and the rest of the uh, Alabama contingent of media, to speak with Coach Saban and uh, on the offensive and defensive side of the balls with Bill O'Brien and Pete Golding. Uh, let's start uh, with Coach Saban in regards to what stands out to you in regards to his emphasis in uh, these first few weeks. Well, the first thing you talked about, Mark, was, was uh, Coach Saban did lay out the uh, injury report there. And uh, you know, first and foremost, defensive lineman uh, Brian Ray of home. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter how often you change your uh, strength and conditioning personnel or uh, whatever the case may be, you always going to have maybe that one player that the injuries just will happen to find that one player. And unfortunately for Alabama, that guy is LeBron Ray, a freshman year, 2017, kind of a bit of a leg issue. 2018, his sophomore year was his only full year healthy. 2019, his junior year, played the first three games, had a foot issue, missed the rest of the season. Even last year, he struggled with no elbow and shoulder problem. He had he had surgery on his groin, not this past Friday, but the Friday before, of a team doctors and the coaching staff. Very hopeful that they can have Ray for the uh, opener for the opener against Miami. But uh, Brian Ray has been going through just so much since he first got here as a freshman. The positive news being that uh, Trey Sanders, Alabama running back, is close to one uh, is close to being back to. Fully healthy at 100%. The five star from Florida was set to take some carries from Najee Harris and Brian Robinson in his freshman year. Unfortunately, he had that foot injury. And of course, last season, middle of the year, was involved in a car accident that led to an injury there. But uh, the team, uh, Coach Saban mentioning near 100% is Trey Sanders. A uh, team happy about that. And Malachi Moore who did not practice throughout the spring due to a small back issue. He's back at the practice and I'm with the guys the first uh, three days of camp. So Coach Saban happy about this group. He senses, he senses these guys are bought in, are ready to go, but did run through the injury report with us. And uh, hopefully uh, the tie can have LeBron Ray uh, by Miami. Uh, if not, I expect Byron Young uh, to step in at that defensive end spot. Stephen Smith is our guide, breaking down Alabama football for us on a regular basis. Catch him on his uh, YouTube show right here, his call-in show. Give him a ring. Talk tied with him Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 Central, in my own words. And, of course, touchdownalabama.com is your destination as well.